guys. We are working on a 16 by 16 inch canvas and I've got various colors of blues and turquoise and then I have a metallic brown and that is by Modern Masters. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I'm not crazy about browns. I also have Arteza's Pearl Marmalade, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this either. I might just throw in a little bit um, <clears throat> and go from there. Uh, this is Metallic Sapphire by Art Mines, and this is Pibio's Iridescent Blue Green, I believe. Yep, blue green. I have Deep Turquoise by Liquitex. I also have Prussian Blue by Liquitex. I have Blue Flash by Folk Art. There's just a little bit left in here. This is a deep metallic blue. Oh, I think this is Iridescent Blue Black by PBO, actually. And then I have 24K Gold and my white mixture of Artist Loft Flow White Acrylic with Satin Enamel. So we are going with a blue theme for this piece and I'm going to layer up, let me see here, these two cylinder-like style cups and we will pour from there. So we're gonna layer up one with some white. There we go, not too much white, but just a little. And then I'm going to drizzle a little bit of gold on there and a little bit of gold on that one. And down the side, the Prussian blue. I'm gonna come in with this iridescent, nope, I'm sorry, the uh, blue flash which I love and I only have a little bit left in this cup. So I'm going to save a little more for another layer after. And let's see, some deep turquoise. I'm going to come in with Pebeo's iridescent blue green. I think only on that one. And then on this one, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of gold. Maybe a little more, there we go. I'll put a little gold on here too, because why not? And I'm gonna come in with the copper next to the turquoise or the pearl marmalade by Arteza. and iridescent blue-black. Prussian blue. Coming with the sapphire on this one. And the white. I want them a little bit different from each other, but not crazy different. Gold. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to use that brown, I don't think. And let me see. We're gonna do a little bit of white, just a little. There we go. The marmalade, let's see. Come in with the blue black. I'm 
that's about it of that, which is good because we're using up leftover paints here. Up this Prussian blue. And it's okay if some gets on the canvas. And I'm going to come in with the rest of the Blue Flash by Folk Art. Don't want to waste any. Turquoise. Let me scoop this cup out here. but a copper <clears throat> or marmalade. Sorry, <laughs> I keep calling it copper and it's not copper. Um, and I think that's all we're going to do. That is going to be more than enough for this canvas. I'm gonna do the white and spread it out. And we are going to do a kiss pour. So we poured the puddles. I'm gonna put the flow extender around it in just a minute. Um, but we have some beautiful feathering and whatnot in this area and I really love it. Uh, but what we're going to do is come through here first. Come 
in from here. And give a little bit of swirls in the center. They will expand some and look amazing after. So we're gonna give it one more torch. And then we are going to stretch it out. Okay, let's get the flow extender on here. Now we have more than enough paint on here to uh, work with. And there's a lot of detail going on and I am going to try and move this around. I'm going to lose a lot of what's on the edge, which sort of saddens me because I love this area. Um, but it is all gonna work out in the end. I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna come over to this corner. I'm going to come off here a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to keep that right there. I love this right here. It looks like a butterfly and butterflies make me happy. <laughs> um, so we're gonna work with this for a second. So my paints were moving a bit fast. So I did have some thinner paints in there than my other colors. So 
Oh, I love this. This so looks cool. Um, as like a butterfly and some wispy fern leaves on each side. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna torch this and then bring you guys in for a close up. Yay. See you in a second. All right, here is the final, but I love that it looks like a butterfly. And then with some fern leaves over here and fern leaves over here, I Please pardon the, the glare. And then, oh, it's just so cool with these big boulder cells. And the pearl marmalade is a super shiny copper, as you can see right here. So that is going to glow in all of these beautiful bits of the leafy fern-like areas. So let me turn off the light. And that is the total piece with all those beautiful colors of blues. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. All right, guys, here is the final dried results of this piece. It is beautiful. I love the purple in there and I love my butterfly, but my mom was looking at it and she thinks it looks like an iris. So what we're going to do is rotate this and she thinks there's an iris right up there. So I suppose you could have it anyway, anyways, but, uh, yeah, it is finished and the pearl copper is beautiful. Um, and I'm really looking forward to possibly resining this piece to bring it uh, to the next level. All right. Well, thanks so much for joining me. You have a great day.